This shouldn't be physically possible. That is so dangerous though. Oh no. Oh, oh holy crap. All right, so this is the first video on this channel. I don't really know what this channel is going to be about, but um, there's so many videos that don't go on the main channel that I would like to publish somewhere because on the main channel, everything has to be like such high quality. So uh, that's why I started this channel. Today, I'm going to go through some of the most viral climbing clips online. But in the future, I don't know what this channel is going to be about. I mean, it might be like a vlog channel even. Uh, I have no idea. So if there's anything that you guys want to see, uh, leave comments down below. I'm just really excited to have a channel that I can publish maybe more frequently on and also not be so critical of what I post. So I haven't seen any of these clip befo clips before. I'm watching them for the first time. I had someone else choose them. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if there's gonna be funny, if there's gonna be, I'm, I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of fails and stuff. No. Ooh, that looks oh, hard. Yes. Oh man. Oh no. Oh jeez, wow. He took out his spotter, or who wasn't really spotting. Holy crap, and it's in South Africa too. Like there's probably like dangerous snakes, like black mambas in that bush. That looked really scary. I don't know, in a bowler like that, you can't really spot, you know? Uh, and it didn't look like she was spotting either. Like if I play back, wait. No, she was just, what was she doing in the background? Oh no, she was trying to spot a little bit. You know, sometimes, People just like hold their hands like this, more just like comfort, you know, they're not actually spotting, they just like kind of pretend to be spotting. It looked like this was the case here because there's no way she could have caught him. In On boards like this, I think it's just better to not have a spotter because if you have a spotter, you risk in injuring two people instead and also falling on your spotter just makes the fall a lot worse. <laughs> what is this about? It's a crazy run into... Jump. Jeez, that's so far. That is a crazy dino. I wonder if this was more for the video or if you were able to stop, you know, if you were able to stop halfway and then kind of keep going or if you had to do it in one run. Uh, if you had to do it in one run, it's really impressive resetting. But sometimes you see in these videos, they kind of do it in one run just for the video to be cooler. But where it's actually easier if you just stop and just do it slowly. I wonder if that was the case here. So he's climbing with two ropes. Which is pretty common when you do track climbing. Uh, to not have a lot of rope drag. Oh Jesus, wow. They all popped. Track climbing is dangerous, kids. I am terrified of track climbing, to be honest. I don't trust the gear, and this video makes me trust gear even less. Like, he had so many placements. Like, it's hard to see on this video if they were actually good or not, but it just all came out. Some of the stuff that they do, I guess this is in the UK or something. And some of the stuff that they do there is like so crazy. Pete is like one of the, the he's done like all these routes and it's, uh, I, d I don't understand how they do it. Like it's, it's just, it seems so sketchy, you know, because it's like some of those things you can just place like one piece at the middle of the route. I've tried it once actually too. Like the hardest route I've done is Master's Edge. And that was super scary to me. I feel like it was probably, as scary or maybe even more scary than what I did with Alex Arnold, to be honest. I'm not gonna say the word because I get banned on YouTube if I say the word. But you all know what I mean. Oh, the kid, no. Oh, he's just like, why did you do that? That is so dangerous though. There's been, I've seen so many, not accidents, but close to accidents happening in the gym where kids just run underneath people climbing. And, and honestly, I don't understand, like the parents should take more responsibility. It's not the climber's fault at all, you know? Of course, it's uh, terrible that the kid got kicked. Burden of memes, I think these are good. Let's watch it. Yeah, that's so true. Climbing used to be just static stuff and 
like all this stuff that you see today that people call parkour it's like it's so far from the bouldering that people did like 10 20 years ago i mean i am that that generation too but i actually like the dynamic stuff so <clears throat> this is a comp somewhere campus dino or is he gonna skip the zone yeah it's just gonna go straight for the top oh no <laughs> I was celebrating too early and it sounded like the mom was like... It sounded like the, the mom was so frustrated with the kids. Luca, why are you celebrating? You should just focus on topping out instead. You see so many people do that in the World Cup as well. Like before matching the top pole, they kind of celebrate. And everyone else is just holding their breath because if you fall before matching the top, you don't get the points. Hopefully he does it though. Looks like a gnarly heel hook. It's like a heel toe camo. Nice, he got it. Oh, is this Colin Duffin? He's really strong. He's like an, uh, an Olympic climber. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, holy crap. He is so dynamic, it's like he's exploding. He's like those Japanese climbers, you know? He makes it look like there's like zero gravity. All right, Toby Seeger. Okay, let's see what he has. Is this some parkour stuff? Oh, that is crazy. I don't think, I wonder if Pete could do that. Honestly, I don't think so, because that first jump looks crazy hard. It's so cool that they find stuff like this, though, in the city. He has, like, so much explosive power, and he's a really good climber as well. Like, he did an 8 day dino in Fontainebleau that was, uh, that, like, that is really hard for any climber to do. So he's, uh, he's definitely a real climber. I feel like he combines a lot of the, like, the parkour is so good for climbing, especially the new modern style. I wonder if... Toby, if, if the problems were right for him, he could probably sign up for like a World Cup or something. Uh, if there were only like the jumps and stuff, I think he'd do really well. Some Ninja Warrior stuff. Oh, sounded like he hit his head with that metal stick. Like I've broken a stick like that myself and I almost, uh, it almost hit my eye. I could have could have become blind. Uh, and I've seen people smash their heads with sticks like that and like start bleeding and stuff. So the Ninja Warrior stuff is actually pretty dangerous too, especially when you do those. Um, I haven't done Ninja Warrior in so long. I forget what all those things are called, but um, I've seen many accidents with exactly this exercise. And especially because the, the bar is so heavy and when you fall with it, like you can just easily just like knock yourself out with it. I think I've seen this one before. This shouldn't be physically possible. I don't understand how they do that. Especially where they don't use the thumbs like that. I've been tagged in this video before. Oh, even a backflip. I've been tagged in this video before and people ask me, can you try it? But the thing is, like, how should I try it? I would have to go to this exact gym to try it. Uh, and I don't think I could do it. I wonder who this guy is. I haven't heard of him, but I, I'm sure he's like super strong. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, that's cool. I've seen similar stuff before. That's creative root setting. That's what like all the old grumpy climbers, they're gonna hate stuff like that. But I mean, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty creative. It's like a two minute or three minute almost video. Two and a half. I wonder if this is filmed with a drone. It looks like it. Yeah, you can see the shadow of the drone there. There's a, uh, there's a climbing hole on the route. Is, that is really ugly. The thing is though that 
Uh, on a lot of routes in like the middle of Europe and even southern France, there's a lot of routes with artificial holes on it. Uh, it just looks really ugly, but sometimes it's better than chipping because these uh, artificial holes you can actually just hammer off if you don't want to use them. So like future generations, they could potentially just knock them off and don't use them. But if you drill into the rock, it's harder to, to hide. Um, so uh, that's the argument for placing artificial climbing holes on, uh, on outdoor routes. Honestly, I think it looks really ugly. And especially here, it doesn't really make sense because there is a crack. So let's see if you actually had to, if you have to use it. No, it looks like you could do it without that hole. So I don't know why that hole is there, but um, it probably makes the whole route more even or something. I don't know, but that is a beautiful place. Look at that green lake. Austria has a lot of beautiful areas. Oh, there's another one. All right, well, that was the uh, first bunch of videos. Yeah, see you guys next time.